We are now going to solve quadratic equations in general, so I'll first write them in standard form. Remember that means set equal to zero. I'll try and solve them by factoring, and if that doesn't work, I'll use the quadratic formula. You'll see what I mean by the next equation. Let's solve this equation. You may be tempted to write 3x minus 5 is equal to negative 6 and x plus 2 is equal to negative 6, but remember that's the zero factor theorem. One side must be a factored polynomial, the other side must be zero and not any number other than zero. So how do we solve? Well, we need to multiply, so let's go ahead and multiply. That's 3x squared. That's plus 6x, product of the outside terms, minus 5x minus 10 is equal to negative 6. Now let's go ahead and set it equal to 0, write it in standard form. So that's 3x squared, 6x minus 5x, that's plus x, and then negative 10 plus 6, if I add 6 to both sides, negative 10 plus 6, that's negative 4, and then it's equal to 0. Use the method of your choice for factoring this trinomial, 3x and x, 4 and 1, and I believe that's it. 3x squared, negative 3x plus 4x is a positive x minus 4. Now that I've factored, I'll set each factor equal to 0. Had this not factored, by the way, I would go to the quadratic formula. There, I set each factor equal to zero. How do we solve this? I'll subtract four from both sides, and I'll have three x is negative four, divide both sides by three, and x is negative four thirds. Or here, add one to both sides, and I'll have x is one. So I've got two solutions. Negative four thirds is a solution, and one is a solution.